I'm assuming that you are already familiar with Relume AI Site Builder, where you have to give it a prompt and it will generate the sitemap and also you can get the wireframes. Let me introduce you with Elementor Site Planner. So let's compare these two site builders. Um, so I have a prompt there. Um, so the interesting thing about this uh, element or site planner is like you have to give it enough information to build the site map. So when we will start putting the brief there, so you will see the strength on the right side. But this is not the case with Relium. You can just type a single line and you will get the results. Um, so I asked DeepSeek that give me a brief um, about the website. And my I, and the website is about like we wanted to build a platform very similar to DeepSeek and uh, ChatGPT, and it's the name is Future. Uh, so this so we get the dummy uh, brief about this website. Uh, so let's copy let's copy this information from here. So we have the name, we have the tagline, industry, mission, target audience, and all of these things. Uh, so if you just hover over this uh, icon, so it is saying that your brief should include the background about your business, brand, goals for your website and all this stuff. Yeah, so, and the pages or the section you want to include. Okay, so let's also include these pages and the sections. Let's copy all of the brief. Let's go to the um, Elementor site planner and let's paste everything there. Let's press enter. And let's wait for the response. Yeah, so it says that here's what I gathered from that. So, and now you can see that is saying that the basic brief is not very strong. So we have to provide more information. And this is the site map that we have provided. This is the audience, the goals, and what else we need to provide. So can you confirm if this information is correct? Yes, this information is correct. So we need to build the strength. Okay, so it is asking for the target audience. Okay, so we have the target audience. I think, um, yeah, so the target audience is this. Okay. Um, so it has automatically updated the brief and now the strength is good. And once the strength is good, now we have this button enabled, which is called use this brief to generate the sitemap. So now we, I can see that I have the audience and all the information. Okay, so let's click on this, use this brief and click on generate. And while it's generating the sitemap, let's get to the Relume and let's copy, let's copy this information and we can go to Relume and we can paste it there. And we can say that it is going to be like 10 to 15 pages and generate the sitemap. So let's see how it goes. This is uh, quicker than uh, Elementor site planner. And we need to click, I think we need to select all these pages. How we can select them. Okay, so I think generate content generate content generate content um i'm not sure whether we can um if we have one button to click to generate a sitemap for all the pages uh, i'm not sure if i have that button but okay so let's get back and let's see the results so if i zoom in Okay, so um, for the home page. Okay, so let's also zoom in to this home page as well. So Relium says that that we should have a navigation bar. We should have a header section, the feature section, again a feature section, 
feature section but with a different information okay so if we look at the element or site planner so it says the header and it is providing us more information as compared to Relium. we have the hero section we have the feature section it's very similar it says that a three column layout highlighting key features of ai platform each column includes an icon a brief description so this is very very descriptive uh, it's very easy to understand if we go to this part so it says that uh, list three main benefits of using futures ai tools continuous updates and so it is uh, just giving us three main benefits this is cool this is interesting okay it's also um, this site builder element or it is also giving us um, some features about this future um, tool scalability user friendly interface and all these things and for the testimonials it is providing us like a slider displaying client testimonials and success stories each slide include a code client name and all these things okay so let's see so we also have a testimonial section custom customer testimonials and success stories things are very similar yeah we have the cds section statistics section cds section stats section wow they are very very similar but this is more descriptive and yeah this is more descriptive okay so let's click on wireframes and let's see what we get and let's also click on wireframes and let's see what we get both tools are very very similar very similar and if you have already uh, used Relium, so you will understand that these uh, components are Relium components and you can click on them so you will get other options as well and you can copy and you can paste it in figma you can paste it in webflow and you can start designing on the top of that section if we go to elementor site builder i'm assuming that we can export and we can use them directly in um, in wordpress so let's zoom them a little let's go to 100 percent Okay, while it's generating the sitemap, I can see that the page is not moving very smoothly, but for, for Relium, I can see that the page is very smooth, but this is not free. It says that you need to upgrade um, your plan to view the wireframes. Wow, so this is interesting. This is not free. Only one page is free. Um, okay that's a good that's a good insight but the site planner is free you get the results for i think how many pages are there a lot of pages and they all are free let's zoom in and see what are the results we get so this is the home page right yeah this is the home page uh, this looks interesting and i can see that we have the th this is not lorem ipsum this is uh, content which relates to the product and same goes with uh, relume as well um, that the content is not lorem ipsum it relates with the product with the project interesting what about the tes testimonials okay this is these are the stats section right and let's if i click on this do we get options to add it no we can move the sections we can regenerate the section this in this is interesting and we can remove the section and we can also view the tablet mode and we can also view the mobile mode wow this is cool and what about the other pages so this page is about us and this looks very nice we have the map 
at the bottom and this is the solutions page the services page this is interesting this is really really nice so um, these are the results from two different site builders one is for wordpress and one is specifically for webflow uh, but really was also working for uh, they have also components for react as well um, and you can also copy the components for figma and webflow and i'm not sure about this um, elementor site planner so let's click on this export and what are the options we have i have no idea let's click on export and it says that generating your site on wordpress hmm. okay this is interesting but at least you can get the ideas you can you can generate the wireframes you can generate the site map using this elementor site planner and uh, you will get the idea uh, and you can present that idea to your client or even if you're building a product you can discuss the idea with your team and you can further enhance it um, according to your product according to according to your requirements let's wait, wait for it okay or maybe uh, we can skip this part let, let me just close it down and i just wanted to explore this tab as well the style tab let's click on it and see what we get okay so this is coming soon okay so th this that was all and it was a nice comparison and let me know that how that which one you like the most